Hello, I'm Melissa and I sell part-time, full-time on eBay. Today we are doing a shipping video. These are meant to be long and restful, no loud noises. Um, we are going to start with a purse that I sold to Michelle. Hi, Michelle. And I sold it for $42 plus shipping. It is the Bagalini Modern everywhere bag with a crossbody strap which i am going to take off for shipping purposes it also comes with a wallet which we will also tuck in here and is solid black and honestly i thought about keeping one of these this is the last one of this style to sell but i have a ton of other ones that look almost identical I liked this one because it had like a side hidden little pocket for glasses or water bottles that you could zip shut. I don't think I'd ever zip it shut. And then on the other side, another giant water bottle glasses. Anyway, I liked it. Maybe we'll put the tags in here. But I have a lot of travel on and bagalini bags, lots of pockets. Really good. <laughs> I have a bag almost identical to this, and I'm like, hmm, should I kept this? I went back and forth a bunch. It also has where you can kind of just put it on your luggage, but I don't travel, so I wouldn't need that. We are going to put it in a plastic bag that fits perfectly, perfectly, perfectly. And Michelle is in Florida. Oh. Oh, I think I know you, Michelle. <laughs> do I know you? I think I do. And today we are using our new fall supplies. So I sell these. They're on my website. They're also on Instagram. And for $50 on my website and $48 on Instagram because I have to pay website fees, so it's slightly more expensive, you get 50 sheets of tissue paper including the gold wood grain. I should have opened my drapes. The gold plaid. The black and white and kind of silver, definitely silver plaid. It's hard to see the silver. The crafty fox with little foxes and wood grain animals. My camera strap is leaving shadows and the white and black damask and a bunch of other fun surprises some stickers so you can seal things like i do 40 of the regular size poly mailers which are the 10 by 13 and i think i have about I'm gonna guess 15 different prints of these. So I'll just give you kind of a shuffle through here. So some of these come from a really, really high-end company and they're amazing quality. Others come from a middle company, which are still amazing quality, but you'll really get an idea of quality of poly mailers. And they all could be used year round, I would say, 90% of them. But I thought they all had kind of a fall vibe to them. Like this one, you could definitely use that year round, but paired with, paired with some orange ribbon, autumn. There's just one or two of these. That one got, got a little stuck. And most of these, you just have a couple. I think the most, would be four or five of one print. And then we'll go through a little faster. I didn't make this whole video just to do what I'm including in my, my autumn packages. Then we have big poly mallers. And some of these are, I would say, large and some are very large. This small business co, the, the quality is incredible, incredible. These have ghosts and say boo. These are definitely the most, that one specifically. This one also has ghosts. I've used these year round. They have flowers. 
Then another one of those. Some yellow sunflowers. I don't know flowers. These are, are huge. <laughs> I don't know if you'll be able to get them, but seriously, huge bags. Then we have some black and white thank yous. Again, two sizes here. And these have handles, which are very nice. My mail carrier loves the handled bags. And then just a couple small ones. I've started using the small ones for smaller items. It says, you are golden. And then we also have that print. You also get just a couple of small gold bubble mailers and 60 inspirational cards, some foxes and some classic you are enough that I've designed. And, and more ribbons. And everybody gets some surprises. I put these together yesterday, Bear helped. So, which ribbon and tissue paper? This is mine. Shall we do, shall we do the Crafty Fox? I just got most of these in. And Bear folded them the same day, the next day. Just so we could get them out as soon as possible. And I've had a bunch ordered, but I believe I still have, I want to say about 10 left. We are going to use pumpkin stickers. Pumpkin stickers? Maybe we'll use the little animal wood, woodland stickers. Since this is the wood, woodland fox print. And all of the papers are from Jilson Roberts, of course. And the $50 does include shipping. And shipping for me is going to cost between eight to $11. I don't make a ton on these, but it pays for my shipping. So uh, my shipping funness, my frou-frou as somebody called it. I used to do this monthly but now we're doing it quarterly. Okay. And thank you to the person who sent me all of the amazing ribbons. Seriously, I've been using them without you. I think we're gonna go the other way. And it has been a lot of fun to incorporate. It's like 95 degrees still down here, but it's been fun to incorporate the autumn ribbon. Okay. I'm gonna get my pinking shear. And knock that over. There we are. Okay. Do I have the business cards? I don't think I do. We are going to use the you are enough. You are so enough. It is unbelievable how enough you are. And what else did I pull here? Oh, the beach. The beach one. Which, which says, we are like seashells upon a beach, beautiful and unique with its own story to tell. And then on the back, again, it says you are enough, which I know that's not going to focus. I also have cut out thank yous that say when you support a small business, you're supporting a dream, your purchase made my day. I hope this package brightens yours. I really appreciate the support. And we will do a sheet mask. Let's pull a poly mailer. I think one of these shall work. Slip that right in there. This person should have this within, I'm going to say today is Monday. And I'm going to bring these to the post office. My mail carrier hasn't come yet, but there'll be a lot of packages and I didn't schedule a pickup. I wasn't sure of what time I would be able to do this. We will put a sticker on the back, a little leaf to match. And the post office isn't far from me at all, so that's nice. This weighs between one and two pounds. So I'm going to put just two pounds. I'm going to round up 
and this is a 12 by 15 by let's do three poly mailer and what did she pay for shipping $6.99 for shipping and then of course tax so the order value she paid in total $52.66 my cost for shipping is $6.02 Please be aware that UPS is experiencing, oh good, uh, I thought USPS there for a second. We can't experience delays with that. I need to get these out. Somebody with a different bag that we will do next is going on a trip and she wants to take the bag with her. So she messaged this weekend and I just let her know that we would have it in the mail today, which we will. Put a little, little sticker on this. Thank you so much, Michelle. I hope you love the bag that I wanted to keep. Let's do the next bag. This is a healthy back bag by a mirror bag. And I have a lot of these in a ton of different colors and sizes. This is their small size, which I don't think is that small. Um, just to give you an idea, this is their extra small size, which also sold. So you can kind of see a little bit of a difference in the height and a little bit in the width. Okay, so this is headed to Elaine and she is in Maryland and she paid $38 and paid $9.99 for shipping, which we'll see about that. Now, this bag is like a nylon. Is it nylon or is it like nylon? It says microfiber. I am very particular about microfiber. I would not say this is microfiber. It feels like maybe nylon. <laughs> Do I fold it in half? That is the question. Let's wrap it first. And I have never ordered this tissue paper, this black and white, and it does have a bit of a gold, uh, silver sparkle to it. It's really pretty. The catalog did say a silver highlight, silver metallic highlight, and it does. And because it's Monday, <laughs> we have landscaping. I forgot all about landscaping. This tissue paper is very nice because of the bigger size. Oops, I didn't wrap that well enough. Peel that off carefully. Okay, nice tight wrap there. I'm gonna add a little, little other sticker. Okay. Another woodland creature. This one is a bunny. This side is going to need two woodland creatures, so we will do an owl and a hedgehog or a porcupine. Maybe a porcupine. There we are. And what ribbon do we want to do? Maybe just a nice fall burlap ribbon. And again, I think I'm just going to go once around. This ribbon is a very nice ribbon. I'll make a bow with this one. Just a little side bow. And do the same set of cards because that's all I pulled. <laughs> when I get up to get more uh, packaging, I will get different cards. And we are going to do a Japanese moisturizing mask. Radiant rejuvenation. Ooh. This one feels very wet. Very nice. Okay. I think the yellow sunflowers might be okay for this. Let's try that first. 
course all of this just fell off. Ooh, we are a little small. Let's see what the next size up is. We could do one of the boo ones. We do a ghost. This might be a little too big, but yeah, that's perfect. And for everything that just slid off, we will tuck that back in. There we go. And we will put a little leaf on the back. Oh, I forgot the thank you. That's okay. Thank you. Pretend I slipped this in here. I'm going to use the holes button on the side and it is literally just over a pound. So we do have to round up to two pounds. And, huh. oh, I did not charge enough for this. It is $11.43. Oh, you know why? Because my dimensions are off. This is 25 by 25. Well, that's not right. This is an 18 by 14. 18 by 14 by two. It's very flat. Let's see if that helps. $7.43, that is better. And Elaine should get that. She said she's going away this weekend. It says expected by next Tuesday, but I think she'll have it way sooner. Usually about three days. Okay, advanced. I wonder what, now that I'm thinking about it, I'm gonna go in, I'll print this, but not stick it to it. I'm going to print a second label, so go back into my eBay and go back to orders and then look under the orders that I've already done. So all orders and go back into this bag, back into this bag. And I should be able to print a second. I used to have it here. I can check somewhere else. Per print a second label. Here we go. Get another label. I don't actually want to print it or purchase it. I just want to see, this was 18 by 14 by two, what priority mail was. Priority mail is $9.32. Do we think that's gonna make a difference? Ground Advantage, Advantage is saying September 26th. Priority mail is saying the 25th through the 28th. I think we're okay. Just wanna make sure. Now we will use this label and put a sticker on it. Making sure I don't cover anything. Thank you so much, Elaine. See what else needs needs to go out today. Okay, we have a travel on crossbody bag. And I have a few of these. Travel on's nice because, well, first of all, there's a flashlight included and the, the inside is a different color. It's the color of my shirt. I'm sure you can't see that. Um, but you can lock all of the zippers, which is very nice. You have to do like a push down system to get them to open. Yeah, that's black. All of a sudden I thought that was blue. Can I, can I push it down? <laughs> okay, push, come over and unlock, there we go. Just so I can tuck that in. And tuck, let's tuck this in this pocket. There we are. And the gold zippers are gorgeous. The gold hardware is so pretty. And Pat in Montana, M-O, I bet you that's Missouri. M-O, M-O, Missouri. That's a tough one. I did second guess myself though, so that's better than most states. 
um, ordered this for $30. And she paid, they paid $6.99 for shipping. What are we going to use? Let's do the classic plaid, classy plaid. I forget what Jillson Roberts calls this. I don't need a full sheet. I'm gonna say we need three quarters of a sheet because I have some jewelry. And we can save this one for the jewelry. Put a sticker to hold that down. Will I need a full sheet? I bet you I'm gonna need a full sheet, right? Oh, I'm gonna need a full sheet. We'll save this. I got a little cocky there. Okay, we are going to use a full sheet. <laughs> Tomorrow is my hysterectomy seven week checkup and I should be cleared to go off of bed rest I am doing really well. I've done really well this entire healing process, I would say. My hormones have <laughs> been a little up and down, but physically I felt amazing. So when she told me bed rest at the two week appointment, three week appointment, whatever that was, I was like, mm, okay, I'll do that for a while. But these last couple weeks of then resting and then up and then resting and then up. You can only read so many books. It's reading a book a day in bed. It's, it's too much reading. I was wondering, thank you to the person who sent me all the ribbon because you also sent me these amazing fall seed berry ribbon garlands. And if I was more crafty and had more time more time in bed, I don't know. I'd put together a wreath for the front door, but I have a seashell wreath that I am loving. And like I said, it's very warm here. So, so I don't mind the seashell wreath. I think I'm just gonna wrap this twice. Because look how pretty that looks. I'm going to open these blinds. It is so dark on this side. There we are, that's a little better. Let's put one of the butterflies I was sent. I think there's two here because this is the perfect fall palette. And um, we will do one of the You Are Enough cards. Where did I put you cards? And a thank you card. Found them. And we are going to do a seam eye mask. I bought more of these for myself, so we can now give some away. Those are really nice at nighttime, especially if your eyes hurt, which mine usually do. Kind of off-centered it. That will be my thumbnail, just in case you're wondering. Okay, let's see. I don't know that this will fit in a, a regular size poly mailer, but let's check. I think it's going to be a little bit of a tight squeeze. So I'm gonna go up a size into the 12 by 15. I think you are a 12 by 15. You are too big. You are not a 12 by 15 imposter. I think this is the 12 by 15. I wanted to include more of the larger size. So you get 20 instead of the normal 10 with this, with this count. This is right on, ooh, one pound, one ounce. So we round up to two. Two, 
two pounds and this is a 12 by 15 by three and uh, my cost is 743 just wanted to check if I put it in a smaller mailer which I'm not doing at this point still the same how about one pound I can't get it down to one pound but it would be six dollars and 79 cents so we're going to go back up to two pounds and my cost is $7.43. So that's where we're going to leave this. And St. Oh, I almost said, yeah, I can say St. Louis. St. Louis or St. Louis? I don't know. And this should get to them by this week, I would say. Again, it's only Monday, so all of these packages should make it this week. on for Pat and we will do a thank you sticker on the bottom and a tiny little owl sticker right in the middle because it fits perfectly there. Thank you Pat. I hope you love the bag. Okay next is let's do the Anushka. I have a ton of Anushka. Hundreds potentially. I, I haven't counted but I have wallets and I have bags to wrap today. So you'll get to see at least a few of them. Now I have to find them. You know what? Let's, let's do the hard ones first. Let's go for the person who bought the two bags, Pamela. She is a repeat buyer. Thank you, Pamela. And I'm going to put these in the FabFitFun box I just got because I will show you the inside. It is so fun. Oh, that's that's gonna take too long let's just print some labels it has my address on it so we'll just cover this there we are okay let's pull the bags out I was doing a trial run here and look how fun this is color inside of the box. So that is the box we are going to be going with. But first we will wrap them and stuff them. This first bag is, I think this had 12 watchers. I knew this one would be one of the first ones to sell. It is, what do they call this? They have styles, but I don't know that they have Jaguar. Is this a Jaguar? I call this a leopard. They are all hand painted, both sides hand painted. There's two leopards in like a tropical garden scent. There's a pink pineapple. Just realizing all of the details. I think that's a pink pineapple right there. So I'm going to stuff this bag and then put it in a dust bag. Let's see. Okay, brought all of my, my stuffing out. We're going to do this with just some plastic bags, clean plastic bags. That should be good. We'll zip this up. Not all of the way. Oh, there's even like a little slot pocket there. This is beautiful. It is a classic white. Gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I think I'm going to leave the, the flaps down by the side. Should we do it like that? I don't know. Let's let's try out the dust bag and see see what works here. If this dust bag doesn't fit, we have lots of other dust bags. But it did come with this one for this this bag. So I'm assuming it it is meant to go in there. Okay. I think that'll work nicely. And then the other one I'm going to need a bigger dust bag. Is this backpack? Uh, that sold for 120. This sold for 145. Oh, and this has the same kind of um, print. Wow. That is impressive. Amazing. How did they do that? And then the back has the straps and a button 
snap pocket. And this one is already stuffed. I might stuff it just a little bit more, just so it really keeps its shape. Oh, it also has like, um, what do you call this? A key fob? Key fob? Do a little bit more stuff in here. Nope. I don't want to overstuff it. I think that's perfect. And where do you live, Pamela? I should know this, I think. You are in Ohio. I'm going to go grab you the dust bag for this. Okay, we got the dust bag for that one. Hmm, I guess it could go that way. Hang tag. There we are. There are the two bags. And we will wrap those up individually now. One with the gold. And then maybe one sure what the other one is going to be. Maybe the wood green. Will this fit? It does. a lot of the, the Woodland Animal stickers because they're tinier. There's also pumpkins and Thanksgiving and just like craft stickers, like a plain craft paper sticker. Okay, um, we will put the berries around it. Maybe this person can use them to decorate around their house or something. I'm gonna do a simple tuck. Thanks. I think I'm gonna go for the wood green. That way it matches, but slightly different. I've had the wood grain before. I love the wood grain. We're good. This bigger tissue paper from Jelson Roberts is lovely. A lot of my jewelry, I can cut it in quarters even. But this, these are pretty decent sized purses. And I still have plenty left over. And we'll even use the tan ribbon. All of the bags are a few leaves, so we are going to put this leaf in there and tuck a few cards in. I also got the fox card that says you are enough. And then it says, if it costs you your mental health, it is too expensive. And that's not going to zoom in. So we'll tuck one of those in there and give her a gold mask pack, which is gray. And a thank you, because I just remembered them again. <laughs> 
Now I'm curious to see if this will fit in the box. I have the plastic bag, which is a very clean garbage bag. By very clean, I just mean new. And that way we will be okay if there's any moisture that gets in there. I think we're good. I'm gonna tie this up. the other way. Twist that at the top and then tape it. entire thing in a poly mailer or at least some plastic sometimes the box doesn't fit perfect so we're going to score that so it folds over could have scored it a little lower. Good. We're going to score that right there. And then I'm going to tape this and speed this up so you don't have to watch me slowly tape this. This is what the box looks like. It is in good shape. I am going to wrap it in plastic now for added security. And to do that, we are going to use the giant poly mailer and we are going to just cut down the sides because I want it to be all one long piece. This is a 19 by 24, so it makes a giant bag. And again with the tape, we will fast forward. We are completely wrapped and we are going to weigh this. This is fairly heavy. I'm going to say three or four pounds, four pounds, two ounces. Now she paid for each bag individually. One of the bags she paid $9.99 and I think the other bag she also paid $9.99. Let's check. Yes, so she paid essentially $19.98 for shipping. So let's put in the correct shipping and measure this box. It is 15 by 10 by 10. So my cost to send this to Ohio is $9.42. That's a lot cheaper than I thought, honestly. So she will be getting a slight refund from the other one. Now this did take me, what, 20 minutes to package where most of my items take me just a little bit. Print. Because she ordered two items and paid separately, we are going to copy the tracking number into the second item. And that is an easy thing and that way both show they're shipped under the same tracking 
and then I can use the drop down where it says get shipping label on that second item and do a send refund. You just have to scroll down and you send refund. Not everybody does this. This was a good bit of work to package. So I totally understand you don't have to do it. Okay. Let's put a little pumpkin on here and then a little woodland creature, another owl. Thank you so much, Pamela. eBay says I have no funds, which means they sent me money today, which is nice. I have eBay sent, set up to send me money every day to deposit all of my money into my checking account. Okay, the next item is another Anushka bag. This one is smaller and much easier to package. Where did it go? So this one shows the London Ferris wheel. The colors are much more vibrant than it's showing. It's going to be hard to show it. I've got a lot of shadows and it is like a burgundy and brown inside with an RFID blocker. And then the back of it shows the London bridge, which is not falling down. Again, the colors are brighter than this. There's a bus and it has a strap, which I am going to can I pop this out? I can. This would be the perfect thing to walk around a yard sale or a store. And I'm just going to tuck this in nicely. Nicely. Lay flat. There we are. And put this in its own dust bag. To, to wrap it with tissue paper first and then we'll put it in the plastic bag and I can use the three-quarter sheets of the gold probably half a sheet would have worked but we already had this cut so we'll go for that some pumpkins and gourds We'll use the berries again because I'm in love with the way that looks and I get to decide maybe I get to decide where's the end of this here we go get some cards we will do the fox and the you are enough as well as another sheet mask this one is a ginseng Ooh, ginseng so much different than the last ones and the thank you card and this will absolutely fit in a 10 by 13 our first of the day and we have so many choices I'm gonna go with the leaves <laughs> Very classic. Very classic autumn print here. Oh, I have to put it in the plastic. We want to make sure it gets into plastic. And Sherry purchased this for $81. And she is in California. And I recognize the street. Interesting. I have been on this street in California. Huh. My husband's going to be very excited about this street. Now we have to Google it. Sorry, Sherry. It's been a while since I've been to California, but yeah, that's definitely the street. Nice. Okay. It's not even a very famous street. I just remember it. 
9.5 ounces, so we round up to 10, not 10 pounds, but 10 ounces. And this is a 12 by 13 by two. Wouldn't matter though too much. Well, it mattered a little bit. I think one by one by one was in there before. No, it didn't matter. It changed when I put the 10 ounces. Okay, so let's go back to what I had in there originally. And she paid $5.99 for shipping and my cost was $5.62, so pretty much spot on. I'll probably take a pause after this and wait until landscaping finishes our house because I know that can get pretty loud in the background of these videos. How many more do we have to do today? I, I think it's the only ones for today. Yes. The rest don't have to go out for two days, but I will make a second part to this video probably later today or even tomorrow, depending on how busy I get and how tired I am. A little deer. Thank you so much, Sherry. I hope you adore it. I will be back at some point, perhaps with a different shirt on. Take care. I am back. It is just after 5 p.m. and I ran to the, I, I drove to the post office. It's very nice. <laughs> Uh, the next thing that we are going to ship are these beads. They are a sterling silver plate. They are marked 925, but when I googled them, these came up and they are plated. They are made in Thailand and make a really pretty tinkling sound. I had these listed and they, 200 of my listings just disappeared overnight and eBay said they couldn't help <laughs> and I couldn't find them anywhere included. I don't know if this is still happening to other people, but when I go into eBay and search like Lily Pulitzer dress, let's say, and then filter by sold and completed listings, those should be two different things. Sold should be sold all the green items and completed listings should be unsold and sold, so green and red items, but mine are identical. There's my dryer. Um, so I, I literally cannot see unsold items on my phone. On The only way I can see it is if I log out of eBay with my phone and pretend I'm just a guest, and then the feature comes back. And eBay knows this, I filed multiple <laughs> claims and still happening. So when I lost the 200 items, when eBay lost them, I was like, oh, I could just go into my store and search completed listings because they've ended and have been listed for like a year. I'm just wrapping this around and we're gonna put it in a nice deep turquoise, turquoise box. Nope because only sold items are coming up. So I was like, eBay, okay, we've got two issues here. So the first issue, they couldn't exactly figure out. So I was like, well, let's work on the second one. Nope. So I relisted all of the jewelry. I took photos because most of that was just sitting down. But I pulled all of the clothing and hard goods. <laughs> that will not be a fun job, even when I do get cleared to do things again because all of them have been folded and put into bags and labeled. So they need hung up and steamed and photographed with a mannequin and taken off the mannequin and then listed and measured, oh, for like a hundred pieces of clothing. I'm like, okay, we're just gonna take it one by one. We're using this little piece that I cut off. So I'm not looking forward to that. I will be looking forward to when it is done, but not looking forward to it one bit. I, I did a full inventory of my jewelry the other day. Again, I could sit, but I did a full inventory of my, the rest of my, my non jewelry, my clothing and games and hard goods. <laughs> Should not have done that. I'm like right in the middle of 4,000 projects because I'm feeling good enough to do 
some stuff, but not all of the things. So I just keep starting projects and then realizing what a big project it is. I'm like, oh, this should, I should not have started this. So now I have about five huge Ikea bags full of plastic bags that need steamed and relisted and photographed and measured. So we shall see. I know once I get cleared and I'm feeling even better than I am now, it won't be an issue. It'll be, you know, like a week's work, which is too much <laughs> for somebody who's, who's already done the week's work. Okay, we have it with some burlap little twine. I don't know why we're not focused when I get close, but we're not. So just gonna go with it. And thank you. And then I also got little masks. Where are my little masks? And I've used them and I love them. It says sleeping mask, but it's just a really thick cream. Rejuvenation, repair the skin's natural moisture barrier. It's like a really good cream. It has a little koala in it, on it, not in it. That'd be pretty cool too. Okay, so there we are. And I organized my, I'm not gonna be able to pick this up. <laughs> organize this. So now it is all autumn and fall items. We are going to put this into a regular size, a regular size, a 10 by 13 polymeller. And all of these need to go out by Wednesday and they will be going out tomorrow. I just put a happy Thanksgiving sticker on it. <laughs> pretend, <laughs> pretend Thanksgiving isn't two months from now. Happy whatever. Six ounces. Did I tell you what they paid for these? I have no idea. Uh, $45, I, I sent a best offer and Pamela is in New Mexico. And I did shine them up with Sterling Cleaner. Why is this $9? 12 by 12 by two, I mean, it's not really, it's like, eight, that should not be $12. Make sure your package size is correct. I am. Ah, it was on priority mail, wow. For six ounces, it's $9.50. That's crazy. Uh, they paid $5.99 shipping. My cost is $4.55, but those boxes are quite pricey, so I'm okay with that. So eBay needs to get their act together with my glitch. I should probably report it again. I haven't been back to the bins since May, so it's not a huge deal that I can't look up unsold items, but not my my most favorite thing. We will put on an appropriate sticker, kind of, a pumpkin. Uh, did I run out of, not run out, I've got huge amounts of them, but I think right here I ran out of the little woodland creatures. So we'll put another pumpkin, lots of pumpkins. Thank you, Pamela, I hope you love the necklace. And next up, we are going to do Anne's. Hi, Anne. Anne also sells on eBay. Anne, your, can I give your buyer name? Is it a buyer name or a seller name? I want to make sure. It is Annabella's Gift Shop. And I love Anne. Who doesn't love Anne? Seriously, she's amazing. And she has some really fun items. Ooh, including an elephant trinket box. My sister, years and years and years ago, in my head, I don't know if she actually said it, but I feel like she did, liked elephants. So there for a while, she got a lot of elephants. And then I'm thinking she doesn't like elephants anymore. <laughs> so I can't buy her that. Right now she's very into like, mossy garden libraries, forest libraries. So, let's see if Anne has anything. Anne, do you have any forest library books? Oh, she does have a crystal dolphin. Okay, back to what she ordered. She ordered, I might keep one of these bags too. This bag has a ton 
fun. This is the extra small slice and it's a sling, which is really nice. And I have a gajillion different options. I've got the tinier ones, which are like their bag lits, which easily fits a phone. This, I have a giant phone with a giant case and a pop socket, and this would easily fit. So many pockets. You've got a zipper pocket, a slip pocket with a magnet, a pocket on here, which I would probably use for glasses, um, a flat pocket with a magnet. Then inside you have a full zipped, and this zips shut, full zipped pocket, huge amounts of space. Then the main section has one, two, three slip pockets, a slip pocket in the back, so that's four, a huge slip pocket on this side, another slip pocket and um, a zippered pocket. And then for your keys, they have the key ring. It's amazing. And they also have a D ring here, which I'm not exactly sure what you do with D rings, but maybe more keys. I don't know. There, there's a lot, a lot of pockets. And I have them in black, black embroider that say, I love my life. If you love your life. This is a very big bag. Why, why do I have this very big bag? That's too big. Um, green, green embroidered, all sorts of shades of green too. Uh, olive green, regular green, like army green, which is different than olive green, supposedly according to them. Pinks, red patterns, embroidered and not. There's more. I don't know. There's a lot of them in a ton of different sizes. And then Anne also got a bagalini, which I'm going to take these straps off so I can put them inside. And this is also, not also, this one's kind of a sling. And this one is a crossbody in a similar color. And there are card keepers, card slots, card slots. One, two, three, four, five inside. And I guess for pens, there's like little pen loops. And it has a nice tan lining so you can find everything and a zippered pocket. Then you have the coin purse and two huge pockets on this side and a side pocket on this side. And again, these front pockets would keep a phone nicely. So let's, let's put this inside. And your strap is inside. You'll probably get this before I'm able to edit it. And I'm going to put the tags inside. And I have another one of these too, but great size, great color. She's got good taste, our Anne. And oh, let's get off of my, my keyboard there. Last week I took all the photos. I was ready to list. I sat down and I had been listening on my phone, which I am not a phone lister from bed. It's so hard to type. Anyway, I'm a fairly quick typer, but on the computer, that's my wheelhouse. So I sat down, my mouse was dead, like completely dead. Changed the batteries, no, like the entire thing was just gone. I was like, oh, and I have a touch screen, but still very slow. The entire thing was so slow. Okay, we were doing Crafty Fox. I ordered a mouse from Amazon and thankfully it was here for it, like maybe within three hours. in half. We'll see. I might need a full piece. <laughs> I'm going to tape this or sticker this. Sticker it with an actual pumpkin and not a Thanksgiving sticker. Do we think the doctor is going to clear me tomorrow? I might put up a fight if she doesn't. Not even to swim. I don't want to get an infection. But that whole bed thing, I, I'm over that. We're done with the bed thing. Oh, we're so close. Nope, we're going to need a full sheet. We shall save those in my nice organized rolling rack thing. That was free. I posted on Instagram yesterday, two days ago, 
about all of the things for free this weekend in my area. And there were a ton, a ton of things. Okay, we're going to go three quarter. And I picked up one of them, which were cedar lawn edging garden edgers. They were just about maybe three miles from where I was today. So it was a good pickup. Bear and I have determined we never want to garden again, ever, ever, ever. But while we're here, for however long that is, whether it be a year or forever, we have to garden. <laughs> so... We've been taking turns hating gardening. Okay, this does not have yellow in it. I thought I was gonna go with yellow ribbon, but maybe we'll go with this ribbon. This like stripey ribbed, you're not gonna be able to see it because my camera won't focus. I probably just need to clean the lens. So there is that one. do a different print for the bigger bag. I think we're going to go with the black and white. And this will need a full sheet. I'm not even going to cut this. I probably could have cut that slightly. leave is is it I'm gonna say something and I have no idea but my brain says ginkgo is it a ginkgo leaf is that a thing I feel like that's a thing I'm in a group chat for wordle with my sister her sister-in-law and our brother's fiance my sister and I have a brother um, and his fiance, and we play every day, every day for years. And on Saturdays, one of us, we take turns picking a word that we all start with. And then it's fun. It's fun. It's our, our way of having fun. So it was my turn this week. What did I go with? Do you know what I went with? I don't know what I went with. I went with ramen. That was the word I chose. And what was actually the answer? I think we mostly got it in three. Seven. So not a terrible choice. For somebody who doesn't really stick to hobbies or have too many habits in their life, <laughs> Wordle is is probably the thing I've stuck with past eBay and marriage and, you know, the normal things, eating. Um, the most hobby-like thing I have. This is a really pretty ribbon. It almost looks like a snowy tree bark. Oh, I see it on the back better. Very pretty, me. We will give Anne some cards. She can give some away. And a mask. Which mask are you getting? Will she like the snail mask? That's the other one. Oh, the squishy mask. I like that one. And a thank you sticker. Thank you card. stickers or those are already wrapped up some leaf stickers 
Okay, we are going to need a bigger poly mailer. And will that do the trick or is that too big? That'll do the trick. It'll be a little too big, but we'll fold it. Okay, just in case it was right on the border, I thought I better not seal that for fear that I might need a slightly less big, like if it was one point one pound, I could have gotten away with slightly less, but it was, was it two pounds? I already forgot. <laughs> yeah, it's it's rounded up two pounds. That is funny me. Okay, so that is probably bigger than a 12 by 15. So let's go for, uh, once I fold it, 12 by 14. Okay. And she paid $13.98 to ship both of these? She must have. Anne knew how to put it in the cart and check out all at once. Thanks, Anne. So uh, my cost is $8.70, which means she will get refunded some. Oh, I might need to change my battery. I will be right back. Okay, that's better. And print. And print. Today I'm using my Dymo 4XL. I might sell one eventually because I have two Dymos, but right now I have labels for both of them. So I figured I might as well use them until I have no more labels or maybe only one roll. Okay, so let's go back to orders and we will refund Anne the overage. Thank you, Anne. Now, that kind of disappeared, so we have to go back to all orders instead of awaiting shipment and find her order and then scroll down and send refund. So she paid 13 and my cost was eight, so we will refund $2.50 from one and $2 from the other. Okay, next. Yes, $4.50. And when you refund, it takes, like I only had to give her back $3.88, even though she's getting back $4.50 because eBay takes care of a little bit of it. Just the shipping and what other, I don't know, taxes or something. Okay, last item is a set of items. These are more items that fell off of uh, the eBay, my eBay store. So I just lotted them up. I did a lot of lots for jewelry. This is a fossil necklace in kind of a gunmetal rhinestone. And three bracelets, one brass that I'm not getting over my hand. You get it stuck. One gold tone with purple, one gold tone with black and gray, and the, um, yeah, same color. Kind of that oil slick gray iridescent color. Now, what are we putting these in? These are headed to Caroline in New York and she paid $16.99 for the lot. Do I recognize you? Have, you? have you bought from me before? Yes, I think you have. I do recognize you. As soon as I saw your address in New York, I was like, yes. Um, and she paid $5.99 for shipping. I have so many fun packages. I have boxes, but then you're like, hmm, maybe she'd rather have this like burgundy plum color iridescent bag for the bracelets. And then for the necklace, 
really pretty drawstring like floral bags. I like that, but first let's put a little bit of foam. I think that's gonna be too small. <laughs> My A-L-E-X-A -E just went off. Hey, hey, get back in line there, mister. Mr. Uh, gemstone, there we are. Nope, now you're out of line. Okay, everybody stay in line. All the way to New York. We will wrap that up and put that in there. Okay, so now she has two bags. Back in there and we will wrap the bag one is getting the crafty fox I keep forgetting the word in front of fox but crafty fox paper because I had a small amount and a pumpkin and a pumpkin and the next one, let's do, I can't remember what all I've done, honestly. So let's do the gold. I feel like we've done probably all of them. <laughs> the classy plaid, as Jilson Roberts calls it, classy plaid, as opposed to all of their other plaids, which are just not classy. sticker okay what ribbon are we using for these none of these match yellow I do not why know why I pulled yellow ribbon maybe the black and white would have matched hmm we're just gonna go have to go with this lace ribbon I'll we'll cut a small piece and a slightly bigger piece Slightly bigger piece will go on the classy plaid. This is like an ivory, almost cotton, cotton ribbon. And this one will get a slightly smaller piece. And we're gonna have to trim the edge that is frayed. Don't be afraid. Now, let's do cards and thank you. You will get those cards and you will get a beach card, even though it is September and we have not got to the beach at all, at all, not once <laughs> this entire summer. I need to be cleared for that. Having back-to-back -back surgeries this summer, one in June and one in August, was not ideal. Also, my husband had a floater removed and we couldn't go to the beach then either. So that was like right in the middle of that. That was an in and out fast, fast thing. Let's do the gray gold mask pack mask. And we can easily fit this in this fun happy pack mailer. Now stickering. Oh cool. That matches perfectly. Black and white. It's kind of very um almost. The black and white is a little too straight. Mackenzie Childs esque. So she paid $5.99 shipping and it is seven ounces, not two pounds. I rarely put in the weight while I'm listing. It just takes too long. Uh, my cost is $4.47, print. Oh, I do have little animals left. A few people need little animals. I 
couldn't fit them. Have to be careful, adhesive is causing a lot of issues for me lately. I had to switch band-aids and the glue, the surgical glue, whoo, I was a mess, giant rashes. So they had me take it off uh, within a week. I thought maybe I was um, slightly sensitive to it the first time, but now I know. Thank you so much, Caroline. We're gonna go back and put little stickers on Anne's and on Pamela's. And I think that is the last item I have here. However, my website, uh, we sold some packages. So I will print those next. and orders. So I'm gonna go into Pirate Ship, which is the website I use to ship my non-eBay items. And hi, Cammy. Cammy ordered from my website. Oh, Cammy, you ordered a hundred, oh, you ordered the Polymailer lot. Interesting. So I will go grab those. I already have them made up. And it says to print shipping label from here, but I think it's cheaper on pirate ship. Don't quote me on that though. I use Wix to manage my website. I enjoy them. I've recommended them to a ton of people. Okay. Let's get your email address and copy that in. And I'm going to have to put you on you on pause again and go grab Cammy's packaging. And we are back and I have Cammy's package. She ordered 120 poly mallers and some extras. She didn't order extras, she just always gets extras. Everybody always gets extras. And this is a fairly big package, so I think we're going to have to put it in a bigger mailer. Yes. These are $29. How much do I have these for? And you get a hundred, there's a lot of prints too. A hundred um, 10 by 13 and then 20 of the big ones. Plus some business cards and a little bit of everything for $29. Is there shipping? Is there, that's it, just $29. That includes everything. So this is five pounds in a poly mailer. And Cami is in Texas. So once it populates the shipping uh, tracking number, we then move it over to Pirate Ship. From Pirate Ship to my website. And here is the tracking. So I'm gonna copy that and move it over to my website. So my website says it is fulfilled. And then Cami gets an email from my website and she gets an email from Pirate Ship and we will print and download and print. And my cost for shipping is about $9, just slightly over. Okay, we also have Two fall supply orders going to the same person. Little owl for you, Cam. Okay, thanks, Cammy. I will have to schedule a pickup. I'm gonna do that now so I don't have to run to the post office after the doctor tomorrow or before the doctor. my old address and I still live in Florida everything else is still the same okay no dogs unfortunately we can have small dogs here but 
we haven't. <laughs> With both of us being on and off sick, okay, we do not contain hazardous materials. Um, to foster dogs takes a lot of energy. So not that we won't do it in the future, but we haven't done it lately. Okay, and then who is the person she would like a bill sent to her? And this is headed to Cheryl. Hi, Cheryl. So when somebody wants something, I send a PayPal, like she didn't go through the website, she just contacted me actually, said, are you doing autumn packaging? And it was back in August or so. Uh, and the holiday, the Jilson Roberts holiday catalog hasn't come out at that point. So I was like, I don't know if Jilson Roberts really has anything, but we we found some stuff, imagine. So I'm going to send her an invoice through PayPal. This version of invoices will be available. Okay. We've got a few more months and then I'll have to figure out another system. Okay. Autumn supplies. $48 each. No tax. And then she wants an extra ribbon. And she wanted two of those and one extra ribbon. So the total is $99, yes, okay, and we are going to send that to her, and because I know Cheryl as much as one person could know Cheryl over the internet, I feel like I know you Cheryl, uh, I should have her shipping address in here. There she is. So, I have the packages made up. Oh no. So, Polly Mellers. Two of those. Two of the ribbon and extras with the business cards. Two of the tissue paper and extras. And then some extra ribbon. So we are going to need a giant poly mailer. Let's see if we can get away with the ghost one. I think we can. If not, I also have boxes. We'll see. Most of the stuff stays pretty. I'm gonna put the tissue paper in the middle of that though. Um, I don't think I've ever had a problem with somebody's tissue paper getting wrinkled. It's pretty flat. Okay. Next is ribbons. And ribbon. We need the extra ribbon to also fit in there. So. I might need, I think what I'm going to do is get a second one of these and slide it on the other end because these are so well made. Now we have this pillow. It is just under 10 pounds. And then we will measure this here in a second. We are 21 inches by 12 by like three or four. 
So these 21 by, let's do 14. Let's see what we come up with. Okay, for envelopes larger than use the box. Okay, done. We will use the box then. Okay, so it's 20 by 12 by three. So the cost is $17.92, which sounds correct. Ground Advantage is cheaper, so we're going to go with that, which is $12.42. And print. And that is the last one. It is about 6 o'clock. And for somebody who was up at 3.30 this morning, I'm doing okay-ish. Although I did take a two hour nap. Print. Put a little sticker on it, a little pumpkin sticker. And that is that. Ugh. Thank you, Cheryl. I hope you had a good time. I am doing well. Bear is doing well. Everybody is doing well here. Uh, and I will see you for the next video. I think I'll probably put this one out and then a video on thread up and jewelry unboxing. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.